from our previous lesson. We learned that by recording the time that the pulse took to reflect off a target object, we can calculate its distance from the radio station. However, the distance that we took gives us very little useful information about the position of the flying object. For example, we can know about its distance at an angle from the tower, but what does it say about the ground distance of the object? After all, the height of the flying object changes all the time, and they can be horizontally away from our stations for the same distance, but give us different readings for their distances. Now, 1800 years ago, Egyptians and Mesopotamian scholars discovered an interesting relationship between the sides of a right-angled triangle. Now, they realized that the sides A right-angled triangle gives way to find its hypotenuse and vice versa, commonly known as the Pythagorean theorem. This technique allows us to tell many features and positions of objects even without direct measurements. In your fifth lesson in the course, you will discover this identity for yourself, and we will apply it to many real-life situations. Where it becomes appropriate, you are not only expected to be able to use this knowledge to its entirety, but also to convince yourself and others about one of mathematics' most important and glorious offerings. I'll see you there.